ice cream, it is recorded, was first made in ancient China from a recipe which called for snow, the juice of oranges, lemons and pomegranates. In 1292, the intrepid explorer Marco Polo introduced this Asiatic delicacy into Venice. But it rarely snows in Venice, so the people of that city ate it seldom, if at all. The mass consumption of ice cream had to await the technological revolution of the 19th and 20th centuries. It was Thomas Wall who in 1922 began the large-scale production of ice cream in Britain. By 1939, 8,000 of these famous stop-me-and-buy-one trikes were operating from 136 depots throughout Britain and Walls had become the world's largest ice cream manufacturer and distributor. Now Walls have two factories, one on their original Acton site and this one in Gloucester, which employs 2,000 people and produces 90,000 gallons of ice cream every day. This is a highly mechanised installation, using the latest and most hygienic methods in the preparation of the company's products. At the heart of all production is this automated control panel. As a first step, the control panel routes main ingredients, butter, fats, sugar and milk, into large stainless steel blending tanks, to which ingredients from some 55 countries are added. These include exotic fruits and nuts. When the right amounts for a particular ice cream recipe have been fed in, blending begins. When blending has been completed, the mixture is automatically routed to the pasteurizers. And here again is where Wall's concern for its customers comes in. The law requires that ice cream be heated to 175 degrees Fahrenheit and kept at that level for 15 seconds. Well, for wall standards, that isn't enough. They bring it to a higher temperature and maintain the heat longer. It's an extra high standard they build in for you. <laughs> the food processing law lays down that within an hour of pasteurization, the ice cream mixture shall be cooled to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, walls have gone one better and cooled their mix to 38 degrees Fahrenheit and within two and a half minutes. The ice cream then passes through two more processes automatically where it gets filtered and whipped to give it an even texture. It's then sent to the freezers where it's whipped again. The finished ice cream is now passed to machines where it's moulded into shapes that every ice cream eater in the land will recognise. Thousands of family sweets are turned out here every hour, cut to shape and wrapped in eye-catching packages, a dessert to be enjoyed by everyone. control panel can handle up to 69 recipes at any one time and in all there are some 140 varieties of Wall's ice cream to suit every person and taste and in every price range from banquet to budget. And Wall's interchange ideas with their sister ice cream companies in many countries throughout the world. Ice lollies, two and a half million each day. Walls use specially selected wood for the sticks to cut down the risk of splintering. So 
seldom are the products handled by the operators. The reason isn't simply one of productivity. The factory is highly efficient, but Walls endeavour to maintain their strict hygiene and quality control throughout to ensure their ice cream leaves the factory in the best possible condition. Walls ice cream is packed in plastic gallon containers for home freezer owners and cash and carry store customers. In this form it's also sold to cafes and restaurants throughout the country. Yes, thank you very much. Concern for cleanliness can be seen everywhere in the production process. The whole factory floor is washed over every day. No battleship in Nelson's fleet could have had its decks more thoroughly scrubbed. And daily samples are taken from the machines as yet another hygiene safeguard. Samples are examined in Wall's own laboratories, on duty 24 hours a day. In this way, a round-the-clock check can be kept, vital in the preparation of a food product, because that's what it is. But all this would be wasted if the ice cream didn't taste right and wasn't enjoyable at the end. So the checking goes on. I suppose this quality control inspector has every boy or girl's dream of an ideal job. In good condition, that is the wrapping of the product and also the carton of the product and also that the ice cream texture, colour and flavour should be correct and that there should be the correct amount in the carton itself. That the ice cream should be served in a soft creamy condition rather than hard and straight from the freezer as the soft creamy condition brings out the flavour of the ice cream. After moulding and packing, the ice cream is carried automatically by conveyor belt to the cold store. The men in here work at a constant temperature of 20 degrees below freezing. Once you discount the cold, I would say that it's quite easy work. I've been there now for four years and I could almost say that uh, I look forward to coming to work. I wear protective trousers and uh, jacket, fairly heavily lined. Uh, underneath the jacket, uh, at least one sweater. Protective inner gloves, outer gloves, uh, thick woolen socks, padded boots, and a balaclava. Normally, a shift consists of an hour, uh, followed by a 20-minute break. The ice cream will stay here until it's ready to be delivered. But Walls don't only make all the familiar ice creams like chock bars and family desserts. They also make specialities. These can be for clients such as restaurants who want a creation individual to themselves or even custom built for private celebrations. In addition to quality, the other thing they have in common is artistry and personality.
But though special ingredients may be added to these creations, such as more exotic fruits or nuts, the basic ice cream with which they're made is the same wholesome mixture which goes into the more popular of Wall's products. But it's not enough to make the best ice cream. The product must be sold to the customer and delivered throughout the country in the condition it left the factory. Refrigerated lorries are ready to take the ice cream from Gloucester or the sister plant at Acton to the depots. So that there'll be no loss of temperature, the cold store has specially designed adjustable doors, which enable the products to be moved directly from there into trucks of differing sizes. From some 40 depots, each with its own cold store, the ice cream is taken in another fleet of smaller vehicles to the shops and other outlets. Ice cream appeals to everybody. It can be eaten at any time of year, and Wall's message is clear. They take your happiness seriously. To keep its vast fleet of vehicles on the road, Wall's has a large and efficient mechanical workshop adjacent to its Gloucester factory. There they employ a team of highly qualified engineers whose job is to make sure that the vehicles deliver the products to the customer on time in the peak of condition. Walls show the same concern for their employees. Besides well-appointed canteen facilities, the Gloucester factory has its own medical and dental wing with a doctor and nursing staff permanently in attendance. The welfare of the staff as well as the happiness of the customers is taken seriously here. It's not only ice cream that's made on this site. There's also a factory making wafers, three and a half million of them every day. The machines here can turn out wafers of almost every shape and size. And again, all this machinery is of Wall's own design. Walls have, on this Gloucester site, an ice cream making complex unrivalled in the world, catering for the production of ice cream and wafers, housing marketing and sales departments, a medical wing and dental unit, a vehicle engineering workshop and 2,000 well looked after employees. All this, the Walls range of products and their concern for quality and hygiene, contributes to their leadership in the ice cream market. More Walls ice cream is eaten than any other. That, as they see it, is the result of taking your happiness seriously.